Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Gift. Wow, we've got a lot to talk about today. And as you can see behind me, we've got a new banner, a new name, something new and something fresh wanting to come through. So maybe you saw the post I just put out. Um, basically, we're going to talk about Spiri today and what exactly that is. Because Spiri is not just a chatbot anymore. It's something much bigger than that. And I have a special guest with me today who I'll introduce to you in just a moment. And um, we're going to talk about what is Spiri really. Pretty cool, eh? Did you like that? We're trying lots of new things. Uh, so, in honor of trying lots of new things, I have special guest Andy Pesh here with me today. He's joining us from the Camus studio. I see him in the studio. Hi, Andy. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, so we're going to talk about Spiri TV today, and even more than that, Spiri. What is Spiri? Perhaps you know Spiri from our chatbot uh, that lives on Facebook Messenger that helps walk you through upsets in your mind. And I just feel so honored to announce with Andy here that Spiri is transforming into something much more than a chatbot. And in a nutshell, we're launching this new pillar underneath Spiri. So Spiri is going to end up being this sort of umbrella for everything that we're doing uh, through this ministry, through our community. And Spiri, the chatbot, is now going to end up being this pillar that holds this, um, a pillar that holds an umbrella up. You're going to have to bear with me with my analogies here. But this pillar that holds this up. And Spiri TV is now coming in as another pillar. And look, you're on it. Welcome to Spiri TV. And Andy, I'd love to hear a little bit more because you and I have been talking over the last few days with our Spiri TV launch team. It sounds very formal, but really it's just a bunch of us who all really feel this and are leading um, this launch. And it's going to be this slow transition so that everything is very clear and gentle. And Andy, I'd love to hear whatever else you have to say about what is Spiri really? Yeah, I just know that, um, you know, we're all just following Jesus's plan for awakening and no one really knows what that's going to look like. And I know when I was in Mexico several months ago, David just kept talking about it's time for a comprehensive awakening. You know, I think in the course it even says, um, or Jesus told Helen or something like that. Jesus said somewhere that, you know, the world has not yet come to a comprehensive awakening and and uh yeah david just seemed really like fired up about that like yeah it's time for a comprehensive awakening and 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 i don't know sometime in the next few months fernanda someone who used to work with vice and then left her job and now she's fully going for awakening she was so inspired to share with us um everything she's learned and then yeah there was such an inspiration so it felt like okay, Jesus, like, um, there's something there. Like, we all feel this spark. You know, we're always following just our inspiration. That's what guidance is. So, so yeah, she was really uh, emphasizing uh, unification, consolidation, and simplification of, of our whole ministry and everything. And she's like, yeah, you guys have, like, you know, like, we have 80 websites or 100 websites, or like, something around that range. And we have so many Facebook pages and, um, and it would be really beautiful if we just unified that all into like one name, you know, one Facebook page, one YouTube channel, one website. And uh, everyone really felt that. And it's so symbolic, too. So, yeah, it just feels like over the next few months, there's going to be this <clears throat> transition period from, you know, tons of Facebook pages and websites and et cetera. And we're just going to consolidate into one one platform, like one Facebook page called Spiri, 
one YouTube channel, which is Spiri TV. And basically what Kristen was saying, yes, yeah, Spiri is like the umbrella brand. And then um, all of our videos and shows will just be called Spiri TV. And then we have the bot, the Spiri bot. So it's like everything's under this main Spiri name and everything's nice and uniform and consolidated. Um, and yeah, it just felt really symbolic and, and um, it's not like we're going to get rid of our past content or anything like that, but it's just a new kind of vibe and direction for our ministry, the Spiri direction. Like we want everything we make to be like very high quality and um, modern and fresh and vibrant and we might even start to talk about more controversial topics you know yeah we just don't know how it's going to look but it's all really symbolic like I feel like spirit even the word itself it's like there's no connotation to it so it's like we're it's almost like it's like what I was saying earlier about the comprehensive awakening it's, it's almost like Jesus is saying okay time to start reaching out to all kinds of people not just a course in miracles students um not just non-dual students but like all kinds of people everyone even people who haven't heard of spirituality and that's not going to change our content like it's still going to be very deep just as deep as it always has been and always deepening actually and uh, always uncompromising and always very practical um but yeah maybe we'll talk about topics we haven't talked so much about like um i don't know like sex and things that are happening in the news and um, politics, how to see things differently in the world, how to practically deal with your job and money and yeah, what to do with money and all these different kinds of very practical topics that anyone can relate to. And that's what I feel like the Spiri Bot already is. It's actually, it's a way to, it's using the Levels of Mind process, which is on levelsofmind.com and it helps you undo and release all your beliefs and get in touch with your emotions and get to that real desire of your heart and Laverne's show later today will show what the Spiri bot is um, but yeah it's that's what it is you know it's like anyone can use the Spiri bot you don't have to follow any kind of like certain teaching like you don't even have to be reading the course to understand the Spiri bot and that's what I feel like Spiri is it's now it's now going to reach like a broader audience because you know we're, we're all, yeah, the comprehensive awakening, it's like we're all going to wake up at once. And this is, this feels like it's part of Jesus' plan. I mean, no one knows what it's going to look like. We still don't really know what this is all going to look like. We're just following that inspiration and following the guidance moment to moment. And right now it looks like spiri, so. Yeah, that's really beautiful, Andy. Thank you. I, a number of things you mentioned in, a, in there. The first one is consolidation because, um, when Fernanda had come down to Mexico, she was um, she attended one of our retreats down here, and yeah, there was just this vibrant inspiration that had come through everything she'd learned about um, through Vice. And if you're not from not familiar with Vice, Vice is like this. Um, oh my God, what is it? How do you describe Vice? It's like this news channel, it's but it's not. not. Yeah, it's it's like this, you land on their website and it's always changing and it's always information that's catchy and uh, cutting edge and a little controversial and simple and clean. Like you just land there and you want to stay. You, you dive in and you read some articles, you watch some videos. It's just this great place to, um, if that's the content you're looking for, to really immerse. And so that was what felt so inspiring. And when it first came in, certainly this idea of consolidation just felt amazing. And that's not, as you said, to take away from anything else that's been done um, or that we are doing, because these are all, um, we like to use the analogy of Johnny Appleseed sometimes, which is amazing because I was born in the place where he was born too. Nobody knew that. But um, that's a little side note. But um, there's been these seeds sprinkled around everywhere, different um, Facebook pages, different websites. I think we have seven Twitter accounts, Instagram channels, like you can find us in a number of ways. And so those still serve as inroads, but really they're meant to now funnel you into one spot where there's this, I wanna, the word that comes to mind is distillation. Like it's this 
condensing or consolidating of our focus. And that's what it's been symbolizing to me is that I just really want to pour my mind energy into one thing. Like, sound familiar? Like, let's go for the single purpose. And I, I love that this seems to be the way that the spirit has been using it in my mind as single focus. Let's hone in on the one thing. Pour your mind energy into one thing and allow that to come through in such a pristine way. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about this. And it seems like it's coming along with, so we've got this one website and we're going to have one Facebook page and one YouTube channel and, um, you know, a number of other things I'm sure that will be in that same vibe. And it also seems to be coming in tandem with the launch of David's new book, which as we talked about last week is just this new flavor that it's very much like Spiri. It's, you can pick it up whether you um, live or whether you work at nine to five in a cubicle or you're a teenager, you just want to be happy. Like that's what's appealing about it. You just want to be happy. You don't need to know about A Course in Miracles necessarily or spirituality. You just have to have that. You have to be in touch with that call that we all have. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, there's so much more I want to share about with you, actually, but it's not ready. It's like we're riding the crest of this wave, and we can just feel so much more coming. But uh, before we share about that, that's in the coming weeks, really. Um, Andy, I would love to hear from you um, how Spiri came into your life. Because when we were talking the other day, you mentioned it was it's pretty momentous, actually. Yeah, I um, I guess my whole life I kind of always loved tech and I don't know, I just remember also when I was like 12 years old, I was in the movie theater watching um, Batman Begins and there was a scene where Batman is just a little boy and he's with his parents and they're on the train and then... um. Yeah, his his father's just telling him how, you know, they help they help the city and they build this train and then, and then he also points to the middle of the city and he's like, yeah, and that's that's our building, that's our tower, or whatever, and and yeah, he was all about just being helpful. Actually, his dad he didn't even work in the building; he just put other people in charge. But he was like, just trying to be really helpful and. I don't know, it's not even so much in the form of that scene, but something about the scene, something about it just sparked this feeling of like, wow, like, I don't know, it's like something that really sparked inside of me, like this huge inspiration. I was like, wow, whatever I'm doing with my life is like so little. Like, I just want to like put all my mind energy into like something that's like huge or something great magnitude or something that's really means something that yeah just this feeling and and I remember for years after that you know like a lot of times it would be in the movie theater where I would feel that same feeling and it was like something was kind of like trapped or like yeah so and then um and then yeah eventually I got into Course in Miracles and then saw David and and um and then and then, yeah, then I met Nicholas in high school, and then Nicholas came into this community. And then I kind of thought, hmm, yeah, I don't think that community is for me, you know. Because, like, I don't know, the Holy Spirit uses all the symbols that we like to help us wake up. And I just couldn't, for some reason, relate to the community as, as I perceived it at the time. And then one day, Jason uh, Warwick, he just made this video about Spiri, like they were starting a, an app called Spiri and the idea at the time was like this super app and like kind of like a, a game too, a game and maybe VR was involved, it was like this huge like idea, like we'll put everything in one app on the phone and, and he put this video out called like innovative packaging team, uh, who wants to come volunteer for this and that was right at the period of time where I was really going for it in my mind and I had given up the business, given up 
um, all ideas of, and ambitions in my life to really just go for this guidance and awakening. And when I saw that video, yeah, I was like, wow, this is really exciting. Like, yeah, sign me up. I just messaged Jason right away. And that was how the Holy Spirit kind of like um, brought me into the community. And I, as a way of saying like, yeah, listen, like we're going to use all the symbols you love. Like there's no sacrifice here. Like, um, like you can trust me, you know, it's like, and that, that's kind of what made me feel like, yeah, wow, this is something that I can really feel. And, and then I came into the community and then, um, yeah, the spirit project went through so many phases, but now it feels like everything's just picking up and it's not, it's not even just an app anymore. Um, now it's a website and now it's TV shows and now it's a, an AI, it's a bot. It's like, it's spirit. The spirit is like a much even bigger thing. It's like the whole, it's a symbol of the whole new direction of this ministry and like the new phase of the awakening. It's like the new beginning, like our online retreat that we just had. Yeah. And I just really love that section you were reading, Kristen on the, cor the, the Facebook Live the other day because it came to my mind again recently and this one bit of it like I feel like really represents Spiri actually so I just thought maybe I ought to read it please yeah I don't remember what I was reading but I'm excited to hear it again <laughs> yeah you're reading um, lesson 182 I will be still an instant and go home yeah, and it just came to mind so strong. And especially paragraph three, I feel like represents, you know, Spiri in the new direction. Um, it says, We speak today for everyone who walks this world, for he is not at home. He goes uncertainly about an endless search, seeking in darkness what he cannot find, not recognizing what it is he seeks. A thousand homes he makes, yet none contents his restless mind. He does not understand he builds in vain. The home he seeks cannot be made by him. There is no substitute for heaven. All he ever made was hell. So, yeah, I just feel like we're, everything about Spiri is just going to reach people in a new way. Like, everyone in this universe has a deep desire for God and like they just might not know it they might not be aware of it but it's there and I just had so many experiences like through high school and before I came to the community of just talking to different people and just really feeling that wow like everyone actually has this deep desire and they just need to be reached through the symbols that are comforting to them and might be familiar and that's how they can reach this deep desire. So, yeah, I don't know. I just remember, like, times where I would just be sitting with friends and, like, one of my friends always had this fear of death. And I was just sitting with him once, and it's, like, the first year I was reading the course, and all my other friends had left to go somewhere, and we were just sitting together. And, yeah, he just brought it up. He's like, don't you ever think about how, like, you know, we're getting older and... I don't know, I'm like scared of dying. Like, do you ever think about that? And then, yeah, it just felt really deep. And then I just started sharing with him actually like some of the metaphysics of the course. I didn't tell him the course. I was just like, well, have you ever thought about possibly like, you know, and I don't know, I just started saying some of these deep metaphysics. Whatever was just coming out of me involuntarily and, and and he was just quiet and he was just listening. And like, I could really feel his heart. It's like something actually touched him right there, like on a very deep level. And he was just listening to it. And like, I've had so many of those experiences. And yeah, it's like taking the limits off of this. It's like, we don't have to just go talk to core students. Like everyone in this universe has a deep desire for God. Like everyone, it's there. It's like. And you can only deny it for so long, but the Holy Spirit can reach that desire through any kind of means. And yeah, Spirit is just, can be relatable to anyone. So I just feel like, yeah, 
So we're extending in an even bigger way, so to speak. I'm just thinking practically how it's been showing up for me in, in my experience. And that's that Like I work with the PR for the community, the ministry. Like, If this is a monastery, a monastic environment, you can think of this as like, here's how we make candles. We've got events, we've got these shows. And so it's like, I have a role in that. And that role has given me to support my mind. And lately what I've been delighted to discover is that the less I try, the happier I am, which sounds, of course, very, very simple. But it's taken a long time to start to get through into my mind. And so it's this flip. So Spiri, for me, is actually this movement into a new state of mind. And then from that place, I can actually be available for my brothers, for for the deeper healing for myself, for joy. So PR, for me, has been flipping from this, like, um, hmm, how to say this in a helpful way, from this promotional kind of mindset, which I feel like is has served, but it's time for it to transform. And so now it's really just about giving and, and offering the gift and nothing more than that, actually, really just sharing from an experience of real inspiration. Like, I'm inspired by this, and that's why I'm talking about it. It's not about numbers or anything like that. And so this is what Spiri is for me. And so practical examples of that in the last few days are I was um, working with this man in Holland to um, include David in a, an online event, which you'll hear about through Jeff, I'm sure, in a few minutes. And when I had a call with him, it was just this beautiful holy encounter. We, we both just fell in love with each other. That was what the call was for. It wasn't about an event. Like, it was so clear to me, actually. Like, if I'm not spacious in my mind, I'm not actually available. And I'm, I've lost sight of what I'm doing, actually, like what the real purpose is. So that's been settling in more into my heart. And as that's been happening, and the spaciousness is arriving in my mind, I can feel this new direction. It's like this current, actually, that you just got to jump in. And so here we are, and we're, we're doing Spiri TV. But there's more than that, actually. There's this book coming out. There's something really fresh. I, I'm not going to share much about it because uh, it's not ready yet. But there's this platform we've been using called Nation Builder, which I've been using for years. And it's it's been... Um, a project that I've taken on very, very fully, and now it's passed to somebody else, and that's beautiful. And I had an experience the other day, because there's this availability in my mind for whatever is new that wants to come in, this new direction, this new state of mind, this huge download came in for something that could be so supportive and could encourage um, relationships, like could really support relationships, our relationships with you, all of you. And so stay tuned. There's no details about it yet. But basically, I just want to say that like with this switch in the mind, it's not about Spiri TV, actually. It's all about just where your mind is at. Are you available for the cutting edge? Are you on the cutting edge of your healing? Because that's where you want to live. Like anything else is just this like a falling asleep. At least that's what I've been finding for myself. It's like this cutting edge is available all the time and I just have to feel worthy enough to claim it as my birthright. I am entitled to miracles. I desire a miracle now. And then I want to share it with my brother to strengthen it in my own mind. That's what Spiri is. Whether you call it a miracle or I'm going to follow my bliss or I'm going to um, follow my heart or God is calling or Buddha, Allah, whatever it is, it just feels like this all-inclusive Yes, I want to be happy. That's what Spiri is. And here's some great ways that we're going to share with you about how you can do that, how we can do that together to be part of this great awakening, as Andy's saying. It's, yeah, it feels like this big momentum. It feels like a, a deep, deep turn into um, something new and exciting and unknown. Um, but altogether familiar, actually. It's like, oh, this is where I live. This is 
where I live, on the cutting edge of my healing. Expansion. It's pretty amazing. <sighs> well, Andy, we might have covered everything, but I want to just check. So I'm going to check my list of questions. I kind of wanted to talk about the website real quick, just to, yeah, so it feels really exciting, you know, it's like we've had a lot of websites and a um, lot of different avenues, but now it's like we're really going to focus on one website and over the next like six, seven months or so, it's going to be like a website where you can find everything regarding Spiri and all of our content and it will be like a total portal and it will be very clean, beautiful and um, easy to use and really helpful. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be Spiri.ai, which you might even be watching the shows on right now. And we're going to be moving more and more into the Spiri.ai direction. So right now it's not, it's still being built, you know, um, so that's why there's this transition phase with the whole launch of it. So it's going to be a gentle transition phase. But yeah, so now if you didn't already know, you can watch all these shows on Spiri.ai. Um, I think most of you might be on Zoom right now. But yeah, Spiri.ai, you can start watching these shows and just even just keeping that website in mind, Spiri.ai, because that's going to be the, the one website, so to speak. That's where you can find all of our newest content when we launch, you know, it's up, of course, next year. Um, but yeah, you'll find all of our newest content every day. Um, there'll probably be updates, our newest stuff. Just very clear how to find everything, all the portals, nice menus, searching. You can hopefully search by topics, by what you're going through. That's what I feel re really inspired by, by making the website also in a way that, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going through trouble with my relationships at work or like I'm having money thoughts or or relationship problems or, or whatever the, the topic might be and it's like you can search by topic and you'll get exactly what's going to help you um, move through that so yeah I just wanted to mention yeah as well you can look out for more updates to our Facebook page so it's actually kind of a miraculous thing like we've we already had our Spiri.ai website it's getting a revamp we already have a Spiri, Your Spiritual Assistant Facebook page, and that's going to be our new home for many things. Again, it's going to be a slow transition, but if you look there now, you can find our show events there. So you can subscribe to those or um, say that you're, I think you have to say that you're interested or you're going, and it, it reminds you what's on, when, the show schedule is posted there. And that is, as well is going to be a great place to find new content coming out, um, updates, just the latest happenings. And um, so that will be the one portal. Everything that we've got now stays in place. Um, so you can still enjoy those things too. David's public Facebook page, our A Course in Miracles Facebook page, which we were doing live broadcasts too. Um, now we're no longer doing Facebook live broadcasts because we really want to encourage you to come to this new portal, Spiri.ai. And you might look on Facebook for um, live Facebook Live videos about our shows, sharing about this week coming up on The Gift. I'm going to be here with Andy. What is Spiri? It's more than just a chat bot. You know, like you can, you can still find us there with a very strong Facebook presence. Um, as well as on YouTube, we've got a new YouTube channel um, that's going to be launched soon too, where you're going to be able to find the replays of these shows. Right now, you're able to find the replays of these shows on our, I'll call it old Facebook or um, YouTube channel, That's it's not old, but it's just where um, everything is still living and um, you'll be able to find things there too. So, I think that's mostly everything, Andy. I mean, we've got, 
the slow transition starting now. You can see the Spiri TV banner behind you. If you feel inspired by this, you can look for this banner coming out soon too. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're just going to keep you updated because this is brand new for us and we're just uh, watching it unfold along with you, actually. Yeah, it's exciting to see what's going to come up as the spirit uses all the cutting edge technology because even uh, one, one thing that we just, real quick, that we um, happen to develop is uh, Spiri. We made a working prototype, or Zach and the team, the AI team has made a working prototype where you can actually talk to Spiri, like with voice and Spiri will actually talk back like a, almost like a dialogue like her. So it's like moving even more towards that direction. So we'll see what comes out of that. It's still in progress, but there's a working demo of it and it's really cool. So, so yeah, a lot of exciting things coming right now. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned as well for um, more about this new relationship um, way of connecting, way of staying connected with somebody, like, hi, I want to talk to somebody, or just um, this new relationship-driven approach that we're really excited about. It's the direction for our whole ministry. We're all breaking open into deeper and deeper relationships with one another, which is just a reflection of a deeper transparency with the Spirit. And so we want to invite you into that very soon, too. I mean, we're already doing it with these shows, our online retreats, where there's such an intimacy that's felt. But um, look for it soon, too. I'm going to share it. We're, we've been calling it Guiding Lights. Um, may have a different name. I may, be <laughs> I may be a little premature, but I can't help it. It's so beautiful and exciting and, and fresh, and it's been wanting to come through for a while. So uh, stay tuned for just more information about that, as well as a whole slew of other things. So think that'll do it for us today. Thank you so much, Andy, for joining me. It's been um, a yeah, beautiful collaboration over the past few days and just watching this be birthed. And um, yeah, I'm excited to watch it grow with you, with everyone. So thank mm -hmm. you so much. We'll see you next week on The Gift. Mm -hmm.